faded photographs of a family who appeared to have it all. Jose, Kitty, Lyle, and Eric Menendez. Happy, healthy, and wealthy. But as you know, photos never tell the whole story. What's the problem? What's the problem? <laughs> These are the images the LA County DA's office released exclusively to Fox 11's True Crime Files. Dozens of rarely seen photographs of the Menendez family in happier times. Hard to believe these two little boys would grow up to brutally kill their mom and dad in their Beverly Hills mansion and then try to cover it up. He came home and found who shot. The shotgun murders of Jose and Kitty Menendez on August 20th, 1989, shocked the world, especially when it became clear their two sons had pulled the trigger. This is Eric testifying in court. I just started firing. In what direction? In front of me. What was in front of you? My parents. It's a horrific picture. Uh, Jose Menendez is on the couch. Kitty Menendez is on the floor in front of him. It's terrible. Robert Rand is the author of The Menendez Murders. Rand interviewed the brothers two months after the murder of their parents and continues to have a close relationship with Lyle and Eric. The Menendez family was very serious about maintaining a good facade, a proper, you know, happy family facade to the rest of the world. By looking at these photos, you'd never guess the serious problems brewing within the Menendez family. The brothers having fun at birthday parties, opening gifts on Christmas morning, and those vacations, so many vacations, here enjoying the water with their mom and dad. And most of their friends and many relatives thought they were the perfect all-American family. But behind closed doors, a different reality. In court, the brothers testified they killed their parents because they feared for their lives after years of sexual and emotional abuse. Did you break me? Did you cry? Yes. Did you bleed? Yes. Were you scared? Mary. Did you ask him not to? Yes. How did you ask him not to? I just told him, I don't, I don't. During the first trial, there were 65 defense witnesses. The trial resulted in a hung jury. During the second trial, Lyle and Eric were found guilty of first degree murder of both their parents. The judge ruled against allowing the family history in the second trial. The jury in the second trial saw a completely different set of evidence and they decided based on the evidence they saw to convict the brothers. They were convicted and given life without parole. Why do they deserve another trial? There are two reasons why the brothers deserve another trial. First of all, there's new evidence that has come forward since their trials that shows that other people knew about the molestation before the murders took place. Second of all, both brothers are good citizens. They both served 31 years and six months without uh, any blemishes on the record. In the court of public opinion, we just wanted the abuse to stop. Eric and Lyle have thousands of supporters all over the world who create social media videos and write letters to Governor Gavin Newsom demanding the brothers be set free. They didn't kill their parents for money. They were in fear of their lives. You've known Lyle and Eric since 1989. How much have they changed through the years? They are contributing members of the prison community. Both brothers are helping out, helping other prisoners. While I was head of the uh, prison government at Mule Creek, where he was for 15 years, Eric Menendez has started a hospice program down in prison where both brothers are. They both become really good citizens in their prison community. While they have exhausted all their appeals, new evidence could open the door for a new trial. Eric and Lyle Menendez are, are hopeful that they have a chance at having their case reviewed. They're hopeful that they someday might be released, but they're resigned to the fact that they may spend the rest of their lives in prison. Now, of course, there are some people who believe the Menendez brothers are exactly where they belong in prison. The prosecution was able to establish premeditation because the brothers purchased the shotguns two days before they killed their parents. Christine?
Gina, it's such an interesting case to look at. I'm wondering about this new evidence you're talking about. Can you tell us more about that? Uh, yes, there are new witnesses and also a letter, a letter that was allegedly sent by Eric to his cousin eight months before the murders. In that letter, he explained that he was being molested by his father at the age of 17, and he was so frustrated he didn't know what to do. So it does go to what their defense was, and it's also new material that was never introduced in the past. Oh, so disturbing, Gina. All right, thank you. Grab your phone to our viewers, scan that QR code right there on your screen. That will take you to our Fox 11 True Crime Files, where you can see in-depth pieces of some of the most outrageous crimes of our time.